Mm-hmm. Okay, you may go into your Windows virtual machine or your Ubuntu virtual machine. Then go to our course companion website. Lab 06, Vulnerability Assessment. So for those students who didn't install this Greenbone GMM during the lecture, please install Greenbone GMM on Ubuntu. You may follow this installation uh, video. Here are the commands update, so it should be uh, running smoothly. You need to update and upgrade your system first, then install the PostgreSQL database, and uh, start the database server. Then you install this uh, green bone. After that, you should be able to access it in a browser. Okay, the tasks here. Carry out vulnerability assessment on our Windows Server virtual machine from Ubuntu virtual machine. Here are these uh, subtasks. Task 1, find the IP addresses of your Windows Server VM and Ubuntu VM. Make sure they can ping each other. You have done this uh, twice at least. One is in lab 01. The second time is in our last lab. So you can open a command prompt. Inside this command prompt for Windows, you type IP configure forward slash R. You will find its uh, IP address. Yours may be different. Then I go to my Ubuntu virtual machine. In my room to virtual machine, I open a folder here, go to uh, IDS 250, I create a folder to contain the contents we may create today. Lab 06. Right click, open in terminal. Then we use uh, IP ADDR to find its address. You see my machine, its IP address is this one. Yours may be different. You will know this is the CIDR notation, right? You learned this one from ITS1 certifier. So now from my Ubuntu, I pin my uh, Windows Server. You see it worked? Then I go to my Windows and pin my uh, Ubuntu virtual machine. Make sure they can communicate ping each other. Inside my Windows, I pin my Ubuntu virtual machine IP address. One thirty one is my Ubuntu virtual machine, one thirty is my Windows. Okay, you see it worked. You can type Ctrl C to stop. It's okay, it's just uh, by default pin four times. Zero loss received four. So this looks good. Task one is done here. Now Go to our Ubuntu virtual machine. Again, we open our lab. Lab 06, you may uh, refresh it, you may need to refresh it. Scroll down here. Access this one in a browser, login with the default convention. You can see I already opened it here, right? When you close it, right click, uh, open a new tab, and open it here. Use the default credential, admin, admin. 
Okay, login. Okay, this is the dashboard. Now check the requirements. What you are going to do? Task three: Create a scan configure for scanning windows only. And uh, task four: Create a scan task with the config above and start it. Then it will take some time. After you got all the result, step file, investigate the scan result results. You need to take a screenshot about the dashboard from the scan manual, scan tab, take a screenshot of these things, tasks, reports, results, vulnerabilities. The last task, export the scan results, try all the format to see which of them can be successfully uh, exported. And for each of the successful exports or outputs, take a screenshot of a portion of its content. The revocation user CVSS calculator in this green bone GVM to assess the severity of two of the vulnerabilities with the different scores found above to each ten uh, percent. Now this dashboard you can see everything here. The tasks uh, by severity class currently zero. I didn't carry out any tasks, right? And here the CVS by creation time and NVTs by severity class. This uh, is uh, these two show up after we update the CVTs and NVTs. If you don't update, you will not get these uh, statistic uh, images. So this is uh, a dashboard. When you move your mouse at the right side of the image, you can see this stuff. The uh, field. Uh, save this uh, image as SVG format or you s toggle the legend and can toggle 2D or 3D view here 2D view is 3D view so for this image they all have similar options right all have similar options you want to get a help you can always click here go to the official website to get the help on this dashboard yeah, you click it, you come to this place, get to know the dashboard, dashboards and the dashboard displays, what are those things? So you can go through this to have a look about all this stuff. It, it has detailed explanation about these uh, images, graphs. Here, we add a new dashboard. So I will not add any new dashboard. Here you can uh, add a new dashboard display or reset to the default. We will not do those things. So for each uh, panel, you can always click this help button, go to the official website to find the help. For example, this scan, after you got the result, you can uh, take a screenshot about the tasks, reports, results, vulnerabilities, the notes, we add notes on uh, the events or those uh, results, but because it's a software automatic assessment tool, there usually there are, there will be uh, some false positive results. So we need to override. You know, you have the expertise to judge which one is false positive, which one is not. For those uh, false positive results, you can write uh, overrides. After you pain test the target system, you can uh, get uh, some assets, the host operating system, TRS certificates. Since this uh, tool is used for computer emergency response team, if you work as a member of a computer emergency response team, you need to improve the resilience of your IT system, right? Here you, you have these uh, tasks, remediation tickets to fix those vulnerabilities you found, compliance policy, you apply various policies from your company, those security policies, and compliance audits. We have discussed this uh, during the lecture. 
And this uh, security information, these informations we update during the uh, lecture, right? In the installation, you can see these uh, things. For example, NVT, the network vulnerability tests, you can see a statistic about these things. NVT by family, NVT by creation time, by severity class, and you can see this uh, list. And uh, you got this after you update the NVT in the installation. After you update the NVT, you will be able to get all those vulnerabilities and NVTs. Here's the scap data and the third data. To get a help, you can always click this uh, help. Right? Go to the official website. Here you can see the network vulnerability tests. Get a detailed uh, explanation. List page name, family, created, modified, CVE, and the solution type. For vulnerability, the solution for vulnerability, in this, this icon means a vendor patch is available. This one means a workaround is available. This one means uh, mitigation by configuration is available. This one no fix is uh, and will be available. No solution exists. So you can find all these things. QOD, quality of detection. So you can find uh, all the help on this official document. This is the SAC info. Security information, here is the vulnerabilities we got from the database. After we update, the database is populated with this uh, common vulnerability uh, and exposures. And the CPEs, common uh, platform enumerations. And this uh, aware definition, third bundle advisories, you can find the help from this icon. This is the security information and the configuration. Here we want to create a scan configuration for our lab because we only want to scan our windows. Right? By default, it will scan lots of things. Here administration, you can create users, groups, roles, permissions, all these things you can find in this uh, user menu. Okay, now let's uh, create scan configure for scanning Windows only. In this configuration, scan configures. So you can see the built-in configures, the base, discovery, empty, full and fast, full and fast, automate, for and very deep, so you can see uh, the information here. How many it will to scan against, and the transactions again. You can find the information by using this uh, help button. Now we would like to create one for this. Uh, for and first automate by default here in your scan when you uh, choose the task to create a scan task you can see from your new task or you use a task wizard you can use any of them to create one by default this task wizard you can see that just specify the target or IP address and host name here if you use this uh, wizard here, use this advanced task wizard. You as when you create a task, you specify the task name. By default, it's a full and fast, so you may use this uh, create a configure based on this full and fast to save your time. Okay, now let's uh, cr create a configure. Scan configures. We based on this uh, full and fast. How do we do that? On the right side, this uh, ship. You can clone, click this uh, ship. You clone this uh, scan config. 
and uh, we rename this one you can edit now you see this one is editable right? you can edit the scan configure for other built-in uh, configure scan configure then you see you cannot uh, edit them uh, it's not writable you cannot delete them okay now let's edit uh, this uh, clone here give it a name scan windows only And you can add uh, some comments, most uh, NVTs and well vulnerability tests optimized by using previous collection information. Uh, you can also say customized for Windows Server only, for Windows only. Then you add to the network vulnerability test families. So you only choose those Windows uh, related. You can see here there are lots of other system X local security checks. We don't need this one, right? For this Amazon Linux local security checks, no brute force attack is okay. Leave it power, power overflow, okay. Center OS, no Cisco, no Centrix, no complex, okay. Database, the band, no default accounts, default uh, denial of service, okay. You, file, you can always find help. What are these things? Federal, the Linux, 40 OS, FreeBSD, FTP is okay. Now, for this Gen 2, HP Linux, Huawei, Huawei, IT, these are uh, some uh, concrete operating system. Mac OS, right? We don't, we only scan Windows, so we don't want to waste time to scan those things. Malware, Mandrake, AMAP, Oracle, Port Scan, Red Hat. Slackware, SMTP, Solarius, Sosi, these are all Linux uh, distributions. VMware, local security checkers, web server. Our web server, we didn't host anything. Right? It's okay. Now, you may only choose Windows and Windows. Uh, Microsoft bulletin, but we leave some others, for example, use list services, uh, SSL, TLS, and this uh, SMTP, the email, and this uh, simple network management protocol, we also leave some, and uh, some other maybe we, we can use, for example, privilege escalation. I just uh, Unchecked those are Linux related stuff. Right, now we can uh, click save. For those students, you have lots of memory, you may increase the memory of your virtual machine to boost its performance. So, here now, when you check. This uh, scan windows only. The NVTs we reduced the number about to is one one third, right? Okay, this is uh, a config. You need to uh, take a screenshot about the configuration. You click this one. You take a screenshot about the list. The portion is good enough. You don't need to need to take everything. We just take a portion is good enough. Okay, this is a con configure. Now we can use that configuration to create a task scan task. Now in this task we use this uh, advanced task wizard. 
certainly you can you can also new task uh, manually you can see this one you need to feel inside these things pocket alert schedule and so on here the scan configure scanner we use this uh, open vs default you can see this scan configure you can choose from this list you may need to uh, move up to see those uh, see these things scan windows only right, you can choose this stuff let's use that advanced uh, visit here this advanced task visit the scan configure we use our scan windows only and the task name we call it uh, lab 06 and the target host the IP address you need to uh, type the IP address you just found in subtask 1 A good idea you may just copy and paste from this place or double check is IP address okay and we start immediately here the start time if you want to uh, schedule your scan for example during the midnight you may create a schedule and s set this uh, information here are some credentials if you have credential on this uh, service for example secure share SMB then you can fill the information here but you need to create this credential in the configuration then you can see that will pop up in this list uh, now let's create this task and it will start immediately so you need to take a screenshot about this one this is uh, your create a, create, a, uh, create a scan task with the configure bar and start it this is subtask 4 ok now we create now you see uh, it uh, automatically generated by wizard and uh, is requested and it's started. You can see here, task is already active. It's started, and it will take some time. You can add your task, clone your task, export. But now it's uh, it's okay. Just uh, leave it here. It will show the progress in this status uh, progress bar. Now it may based on the performance of your virtual machine, it may take your half an hour or even uh, one hour. Now task file. After you finish it, the scanning, then you can take screenshot about the dashboard and those uh, results from the scan uh, panels. How do you export scan result? Is from the scans results of that panel. You can choose a save. Okay, now you see only one percent is uh, complete. Now once it's done, you go to click these things and take screenshot. Certainly this dashboard, you see the task by service class, is up, it will be updated and this result will be updated. Once uh, it's complete, all these things they will be updated. Also update the dashboard. So that's why you need to take a screenshot about those things. You need to focus on the result you got
Okay, the scan is done. Now you see uh, these statistics are updated. So now you are asked to take screenshots about these things. First, you go to the dashboard. You see this uh, update the tasks by select class, task by status. So you are only required to take screenshot of this part for this dashboard. Now the second uh, third part, four parts from the scans, tasks, reports, results, vulnerabilities. Here you can find from this one, tasks here we have one task and the summaries. The reports here one report. Results they are all updated now. We are interested in the vulnerabilities. So here in this list of vulnerability, you can order this vulnerability decrease ceiling. Here you see this uh, vulnerability. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, vulnerability with a different scores. So you are asked to only uh, complete one calculation. Now, how do we export the scan result? Here in this uh, scan results, I think it's in reports. Here you create, click this uh, report. Here you can see the results. Uh, it'll take a little bit time to update these numbers. Because the operating system should be 101, but now you see these things are, are it's not 101. Host is 101. Okay, now all the results show up. You can check these uh, results. Hosts. These are windows. And port numbers. Applications, it are found uh, open secure share. And this is IRS service. These are vulnerabilities. So you can uh, save this uh, report, click this download field the report. You are asked to try all these uh, report format to see uh, which works, which not. For example, this here you can see in this list we have so many. You can try them one by one. For the first one, you choose it and click OK. And now you see the file size is 342 kilobytes. You are asked to save it first. Save in the folder we just created today. But here it is saved in the default uh, download folder. You can open the 
here and Ctrl X saved in the photo we created today. Ctrl V save it here. You are asked to open it and uh, take a screenshot about a portion of this uh, file. So you can take a screenshot about a portion of this its uh, content. For this XM file, it's uh, hard to read. Right? It's hard to read the contents. Uh, even though it's readable, but it's hard to read. I would like to uh, change this uh, save settings. In the download, I always ask you where to save the file. Right now, let's uh, export as another format, for example, PDF. You are asked to uh, try all these formats. Here I just demonstrate three of them. Okay, you see this PDF file is zero byte, which means it's not successful. So we just cancel it. Then I try another one, the TXT. This one is uh, quite readable. Okay, you see the size is not zero. Let's save it first. We save it here. And we can go to that folder to open it. Oops, it looks like it has saved to some uh, place. I didn't notify that. I didn't notice that, so we can come here to see what it is. So it's under this uh, tools folder. Again, Ctrl X. Come back and uh, Ctrl V. Save it here. Then you can open with the uh, text editor. Now this time you see it's uh, quite readable. So we can take a portion of this uh, result. For example, port summary for this host. Okay, now the last task, export uh, the scan result. Of this uh, review question, we complete all these tasks. The review question uses the CVSS calculator. To assess the severity of two of the vulnerabilities with different scores found above. Unfortunately, we didn't find uh, two of the vulnerabilities with different scores, so you are asked only to uh, calculate one of them. So here you see uh, there's a vulnerability here, and you can also see the severity is 5.0, 5.0, and this is one is uh, 0, 0. Okay, we, we, we have different one, so you may, let's see you can also try these closed uh, CVEs, which means they are solved. They are fixed in the target system. And you can see here, you can try two of them from this uh, 
solve the closed CVE list just as a demonstration. For example, we click this one. We can see the base vector and this uh, base score. You can find the detailed information by asking Google to find this uh, CVE. As we have done a lab in our CVE investigation, you can follow those methods. So this uh, for this lab, we are still uh, need to calculate two of the vulnerabilities with different scores, no matter it's uh, closed or not. Okay, now for this one, how do we do the calculation? I open this one in a new tab. Here you may supply this matrix or supply the vector, then you will get the result. So I delete this one first. Then come back. I copy this uh, vector. Come here, paste it, Ctrl V. Here you see there are some empty space. You need to remove this empty space, otherwise you see the result is not updated. So after I remove the empty space, you see these two are these are updated by according to this uh, form vector. Now you see the result 10.0. So you are also asked to uh, find a different one. So you can. Go back. In these CVEs, these are the CVEs in the target system. We still need to fix them. Unfortunately, every time it, the data need to be loaded from the database, so you will see it takes some time to reload those data. So it's a good idea, you may right click open a new tab for the two CVEs. Here now I want to open this one, 5.0. Okay, it pops up again. We copy this uh, base vector, come back here, we calculate the second time, for the second CVE, not second time. Kind of we paste here, again, as a header, we have empty space, we need to remove, the noise update is 5.0. So you can see this uh, calculator is quite nice. Okay, now we solved all these review questions and complete all these uh